Now, her modelling career began after a chance encounter with model Benjamin Hart when she was just 14. Just two years later, she was on the cover of British Vogue. And since then, she's become one of the most famous and sought after models in the world. Lily Cole, it is an absolute pleasure to have you here on Ireland AM this morning. My pleasure. Now, we're here to talk about shoes and rainforests and your new app and all sorts of things. But I would like to go back to 14 year old Lily Cole. Tell me about that day that changed your life forever. So where were you? You strolled along the street or what happened? So I was in Soho in, Eng uh, in London and um, it was actually in the evening and I was out with some friends uh, walking down Old Compton Street and the man you mentioned, Benjamin Hart, who worked at Storm, uh, kind of chased chased somewhat after me and ra literally ran after you didn't I he? mean not in a dramatic way <laughs> I didn't start running stop that woman <laughs> um but yeah obviously got our attention and I uh, was with a few friends and uh gave me a, his card and uh asked me if I would come in and meet with the agency and you kind of poo-pooed it to begin with I mean had you ever thought about modeling at that stage I remember being really like I remember him leaving and me and my friend suddenly being really excited like I understood there was like potential that was very exciting at the same time I didn't you know I was always a bit skeptical of people I don't know you know you get people kind of like asking you to take pictures and pay to take pictures and I don't know there's a lot of like there's a lot of dodgy people dodgy there. stuff yeah. around but that. he wasn't yeah. dodgy he was from Storm no he wasn't yeah but yeah. I didn't know Storm at that point you know it's not like I knew the modeling landscape at all so when you um, went home to your mum and dad because your mum's an artist isn't she yeah and she your is. dad's a boat builder is he he is yeah and um, you're from a lovely part of the world you're from Devon uh, initially Devon and then I grew up in London. Okay, yeah. so when you went home to mum and dad and you said, oh this guy stopped and gave me his card and wants me to go in and talk to me about being a model. At 14 years of age were they like, no! <laughs> um, my, I was actually just living with my mum, so it was just with her, but um, she was very, um, no, she was very open to it and she came in with me to the first meeting and we went, I remember afterwards we went to McDonald's and we sat in McDonald's and looked at this book they'd given us of, you know, that would potentially one day have pictures in it. Um, and I think we're both like, you know, couldn't expect much from it because at that point in time it didn't really offer much. It so was it was just, just sure we'll give it a go and see what happens. Yeah. Cut to two years later and you're on the face of British Vogue, you're on the cover. Yeah, and then I'm with my mum in a cafe. <laughs> I remember looking at it and being like, whoa, that's really surreal. Because you're yeah, well, a bit of an academic, really. You've got big brains behind that beauty. You went off to Cambridge, you got a double first in history of art. Was that the plan, to pursue your love of history of art? Um, history of art was kind of a funny accident along the way. Yeah. Um, my interests were always like pretty wide academically and with history of art I hadn't studied it before and I saw the opportunity to study social sciences uh, other things like history through art and so that was kind of the thinking there um, but yeah I had I'd kind of questioned staying in school a couple of times through the process because obviously I was working a lot and it would have made sense for me to Yeah, you could leave. have just turned your back on school and education yeah. and everything and gone and made buckets of money yeah so why did you choose not to do that um, because uh, I knew in my soul that I wouldn't be happier, you know, um, and uh, and of course, like in my mind, I kind of debated it a lot when I was 16. I debated whether I should leave school and uh, pursue modelling a lot. Then when I got accepted to Cambridge, I spent a long time debating whether to take three years out for the most part and do that. And I think deep in my heart, I always knew that I would stay. Um, and you're here today because you're talking about a new range of shoes, which is to do with the rainforest. Yeah. And it's all to do with sky. So explain that to us. Yeah. So I've been working on an initiative for a few years with um, Sky and WWF called Sky Rainforest Rescue. And um, what we did is we went to Brazil and looked at the wild rubber trade. So there are trees spread throughout the Amazon that when you tap them, when you cut them, they bleed rubber. Um, so they don't need to be felled? Um, well, exactly. I mean, it's not even that those specific trees don't need to be felled, but the argument is that if you provide an income to local farmers to tap the trees for rubber, then they become incentivized to protect the forest because they're actually making money from the forest, rather than right now there's very little incentive for them to often uh, protect the forest, rather there's incentive for them to deforest for the most and part. you've been out there. You went out to the Amazon. Yeah, we did a trip a year and a half ago. And so the trip there inspired the shoes. And so we started off with a jewelry collection. Um, and then, which we sold last year. And then this year, we designed trainers with this company called Veja, who have been using wild rubber actually for several years now. And the soles of the trainers have got 40 to 50% wild rubber in okay. them, which is really cool. You can like, I mean, I'm wearing them now and it's really cool when you're walking on them to know that 
you like the soles well, of the feet come to, from the Amazon trees. Un, until I was doing the research for this interview, I didn't know you could get wild rubber. Uh, I didn't know. That I didn't know any of this before yeah, this project. It's yeah. completely opened your eyes to it, and I can yeah. see you've got a real. I didn't even know rubber came from trees. I mean, I know that's ridiculous, but I don't think a lot. Of I people wouldn't say do. you're alone. I'd say a lot of people yeah. don't know that. And Sky are doing a great thing as well because if you buy the trainers, which are really reasonably priced, by the way, how much are they? I think fifty-five for the low tops, sixty-five for the high tops, and. Sky will make a donation for every pair that you buy. Yeah, so £10 from every pair goes to Sky Rainforest Rescue, which is the kind of broader initiative that looks at all the different ways they can combat issues for of deforestation. When we talk about modelling, which is just about how you look, you're somebody with a big brain, a lot going on, a lot to say for yourself. Do you find it difficult that you are often just judged on the way you appear? Which is fabulous, so it's not such a bad thing, you look amazing. Uh. But is it difficult for you? Um, not so much anymore because I feel like my life is so varied and I actually spend most of my time doing like Impossible or this project with uh, the Wild Rubber. So is modelling so becoming less and less a part, like it's not... It hasn't been a, a big, part of, big part of my life from a time perspective for a very long time. Yeah. yeah. So do you think of yourself as a model any longer? Not really, yeah. no. Um, what would you, if I said to you, if I met you in a pub and I said, oh, what do you do, Lily? What's your job? What would you say? If I'm chatting to a taxi driver and they don't know and they ask me that question recently, I'll be like, oh, I have a tech company I run because that's my day-to-day -day job most so days. So you're a tech startup? Yeah, which yeah. is also surreal. I don't know. I just kind of like make up words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, and Lily, people will be able to get your shoes in lots of places and support the rainforest. And John, it's been lovely meeting you and chatting to you. Very lovely to meet yeah, you. Yeah, pleasure. Come back again. I'd love to. The lovely Lily Cole there. Got brains to beat the band, that girl, and lovely with it. Now, Arlen Dam has teamed up with Sky Rainforest Rescue to give 10 lucky viewers a pair of trainers from her new Veja footwear collection. Anyone who gets in touch with the show on text, Facebook or Twitter today is in with a chance, and winners are going to be picked randomly and announced on the Ireland AM Facebook page.